Quick, here she comes. Ready, oh great one? All set. Hmm? Step right up. Ow! Discover what the future holds in store for you. The great Jacob Mundo knows all. Actually, our Predicto Magic Machine knows all. I just spin the arrow. Jacob Mundo? And I am Oolong, his trusted sidekick from the mysterious East. We're doing a fortune-telling booth for the fun fair. A fortune-telling shoebox? Pretty lame, even for you two. There is nothing to fear. Discover what the future holds for you. Oops, I didn't see that coming. Just ask one question and we promise to quit bugging you. Now that's a deal I can't refuse. Ask, and all will become clear. Hmm, is Raymond going to ask me to dance? Predicto magic. Will Raymond ask Marfa to the dance? Hello? Raymond? The dance this Friday? I'd love to. That was fast. We have to promise to only use its powers for good. The dance this Friday? I'd love to. Wow! Can you believe it? Raymond wants to take me to the dance. The great Jacob Mundo really does know all. Actually, it's the Predicto Magic that knows all. The Predicto Magic. Do these pants make my butt look too big? Yes. Oh, I knew it. Maybe I should wear my green pair? Yes, green is better. With my blue top? No. No, of course not. What was I thinking? How about my black one? No! I have some serious shopping to do! Your sister's acting awfully strange. Maybe we've unleashed some kind of otherworldly power. Nah, Marfa does this every time she has a big date. You idiot! Jump! Guys! Over the quicksand, not in it! Mail call, boss! Oh, Baron Council Seminar? How to put the fun in reading fundamentals? Home and school fundraiser for underprivileged students? I told the post office, no more junk mail! Don't they realize how busy I am? Hmm. What's this? A letter from the school board. Dear Principal Greedy Guts, I, I would like, like to meet to... with you in your office this Friday at 12 o'clock sharp as I have a very important matter to discuss with you. Sincerely. Superintendent Fuss Budget! Gee, I wonder what the old bat wants this time. Ooh, I know what it is. The school board has finally approved that enormous raise I asked for. And Fuss Budget wants to tell me the good news in person. <laughs> a good one, boss. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, of course, a raise. That's it. What else could it be? You don't think she found out I used the textbook funds to pay for my new tanning bed? Maybe. Well, she could have found out you converted the boiler room into your own personal sauna. Or that I used the school's bus as a trade-in on my new SUV. 
Or that you recycle your old motor oil by mixing it in with the floor wax. Make a list. I don't want to be caught off guard when the old biddy arrives. I'll need to prepare an alibi for everything I've done in the past year. Yes, it is going to snow today. No way! It's been springtime for two weeks! The great Jake Amundo is never wrong! Actually, the Predicto Magic is never wrong. <sighs> I want to know if Sour Pickle's going to smile today. Yes? Sour Pickle's smile? If she ever did that, her face, it would crack! <laughs> or perhaps she found out I claim my nose hair removal as administration expenses. <laughs> Who dares express hilarity while I suffer such mental anguish? Welcome, Principal Greedy Guts. Take a glimpse into the future by asking What me makes you think I have time to engage in mindless games, Buford? Now, scurry off to class, you pack of bee brains! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at me. I've just frightened an entire herd of students out of their wits. And yet I can't even muster the teensiest, tiniest evil chortle. Superintendent Fuss Budget has really got you in a tiffy. I do wish that haggard old goat had displayed some common courtesy and told me the purpose of our meeting. Now look at it this way, boss. It'll be a surprise. Yes, but what I need to know is will it be a pleasant surprise or an unpleasant surprise? Chicken casserole, just like the Predicto Magic said. It's Thursday, Buford. It's always chicken casserole on Thursdays. Yeah, but the Predicto Magic didn't know that. It is just luck. A shoebox cannot possibly predict the future. Do not fear the power of the Predicto Magic, non-believer. Ask it a question. Reveal your future, if you dare. All right. Am I going to pass the math test this afternoon? <gasps> no! C'est impossible! I have never failed a test in my life! I told you this shoebox knows nothing! No way! It's... it's snowing! Just like the Predicto Magic said. It was just a lucky guess. No way to the 10th power. Sour Pickle, smiling. <laughs> if it keeps snowing like this, school might be canceled tomorrow. <laughs> Will I pass my math test? <laughs> Do not fear the power of the Predicto Magic, non-believer. Is it going to snow today? A shoebox cannot possibly predict the future. The great Jake Amundo is never wrong. Never wrong. <laughs> Time's up. <gasps> Rattel, you didn't answer a single question. <laughs> what? That's impossible. Well, my mom says if you're going to do something, do it well. And you failed well. Flunked with the capital F. <gasps> Just look at all those zeros. You shouldn't have let the Predicto Magic psych you out. It's just a shoebox, remember? A shoebox. I do not let anything psych me out. That is no ordinary shoebox. If you ask me, I think it really does know the future. Hey, there he is. Uh-oh. See you later, guys. <laughs> it's the great Jacob Mondo. Wait up. We have more questions. Hello? No, a meteor is not going to hit the school tomorrow. Hello? If I do this to my face, will it really stay that way? Yes. Will Mom notice the vase is broken? No. Will my rash clear up? Yes. Can you really scratch your brain picking your nose? Yes. Are we there yet? Huh? Those people really need to get a life. And I need to know if Raymond is going to like this scarf. <sighs> Sorry. You're coming with me. How about this? 
Nope. But I've gone through my entire wardrobe. <sighs> That's right, Raymond. I'm canceling our date. Because you don't like any of my outfits. That's why. I can't stand it. I'm so nervous I can't eat a single morsel. Oh. I'm wasting away to nothing. Hey, you're here to take notes, not eat. Now, where were we? On the good news side, you could be getting an enormous raise. And on the bad news side? We're up to item number 64. Selling school library books to raise money for your hot tub. You don't suppose she's found out I use the school's change rooms as my personal mushroom farm? <laughs> Will my last little pony ever shut up? Yes. I don't stop. For the last time, take your seats for the morning announcements. <laughs> She might have spotted me on the golf course during school hours. Oh, or maybe she discovered I diverted <gasps> money from the computer fund to pave my driveway with crushed oyster shells. Or maybe she found out I failed kindergarten. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what is it, Sour Pickle? Uh, it's on! <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed my little rehearsal for an upcoming skit. <laughs> it's a light comedy entitled... Principals say the darndest things. And now, here are your announcements. Your perpetually hopeless Dreary Meadows hockey team will be playing the Eastridge Eagles this evening. <laughs> uh. Eastridge Eagles? Those guys haven't lost a game all year. And we haven't won a single game all year. We should just stay home. What? We can't forfeit. We can't. It would be a lot less humiliating. Yeah, we're going to get massacred. Bien sûr. We don't know that for sure. Jacob's right. Only the Predicto Magic knows the future. Okay, if it says we're going to win, then we'll show up. Are we going to win tonight's hockey game? I think we all know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> It's impossible! But that is what I said about failing the math test! Principal Greedy Guts, we're gonna win our hockey game! The Predicto Magic said so! I don't have time for such nonsense! Shoot! <laughs> Perhaps some fresh air will restore my waning appetite. <gasps> <gasps> Not a single drop of drool. No. Oh. We're getting skunked. I knew we should have stayed home. I thought we were supposed to win. Let's get some fresh losers. Hey, I mean legs out there. What does that old shrew want to see me about? What? What? Oh. Oh. Great go, Buford! Come on, guys! Let's get another goal! Said. Could it be that the solution to my mental turmoil has been under my nose all this time? <laughs> Look what I found loitering in the hall, boss. Ah! I understand that little gizmo of yours predicted the unlikely outcome of last night's hockey game. It's just a shoebox. A really lucky shoebox. I must know. Am I going to get my raise? But... Spin it! Spin it! <laughs> yes! Jackpot! <laughs> now 
now that my pockets will be bulging with cash, I'll be able to renovate the entire school. You mean, we'll finally have windows that open and heaters that work? Windows? <laughs> oh, heating? <laughs> Keep dreaming, kid. <laughs> I'll start by moving the students, I mean vermin, to the sub-basement so I can convert the classrooms into stables for my polo ponies. The sub-basement? Oh, but you won't have to stay down there in the damp and the dark all the time. I will occasionally allow some lucky inmate the privilege of coming above ground to rub my sore, tired feet at the end of the day. You can't do that. You can't. Oh, can't I? Yes, the past is behind me and the future is mine. Soon the school will be turned into my very own luxury palace. How do you like those road apples, stupid intendant fuss budget? <laughs> Rub his feet? With my hands? He cannot get away with such a thing. C'est impossible. That's what you said about failing the math test. And winning the hockey game. Isn't there something we can do to stop him? Looks like the future is in our hands. Warm sand, palm trees, a gentle ocean breeze, only one thing missing to make it a true paradise. Me. <laughs> Book me a month at their most expensive resort. In the meantime, I'll start working on a deep golden all over tan. All we have to do is prove to Superintendent Fuss Budget that Principal Greedy Guts doesn't deserve his big raise. He's asleep. What's that? Sounds like bacon frying. A lot of bacon. It doesn't smell like bacon. ay -oy, My poor eyes! A list of all the dirty tricks he's done in the last year. All 113 of them. Red alert! Red alert! Oh, what? The video is laughing! Bus budget is on our way up! What? In all my 40 years, this is the most distasteful duty I have ever been asked to perform. Superintendent Fuss Budget, what brings you to Dreary Meadows? As if I didn't know. <laughs> the school board has approved the obscenely large raise you requested. I just need your signature on the new contract to make it official. A raise? For me? What a pleasant surprise! <laughs> My stars, your face is beet red. Must be a bad reaction from those leftover cheeseburgers I ate for lunch. I wanted to make sure all the fresh ones went to the children. <laughs> now then, if you'll just show me where to sign. Cheeseburgers, my foot. No one blushes at crimson unless they have something to hide. I'm really flushed with excitement by your very presence. Now, where's that dotted line? Hmm? I think I'll hang on to this until I find out what you're so embarrassed about. No, you can't! Hopefully it's something that will give the school board a good excuse to reconsider its rash decision. I assure you I have nothing to hide. Is that why you aren't wearing any trousers? <laughs> Nothing to hide? No, wait, I can make up an explanation. I mean, come back with my raise! <gasps> ah! 
Wait till Superintendent Fuzz Budget sees this list. She'll flip. And Greedy Guts Rays will be history. But how are we going to get it to her now? We can send it airmail. Uh, my trousers are at the, uh, at the cleaners. I got them dirty helping Mr. Lau scrub the gym floor. I try to chip in whenever I can. Oh, what the? Some little miscreant is assaulting me with... Uh, my list? Come back here! It's blank. What is the meaning of this? Uh, that? <laughs> oh, why, it's just a little comedy routine I was working on for my upcoming parents' committee speech. <laughs> comedy routine? You find this amusing? <laughs> Oops. It'll be a hot day in the Arctic before you ever see a maze. But no palace? No Caribbean vacation? <laughs> My future's been ruined! <laughs> the Predicto Magic was right. Principal Greedy Guts got a raise. Just because the future looks stark and gloomy, that doesn't mean we can't do something about it. Vraiment? It is possible to change the future, no? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Unlock the mystery of your past and discover the secret to your future! Marfa? Hi, Squirt. Thought I'd drop by and see how you're doing. We're a big hit. And you said a fortune-telling shoebox was lame, remember? Um, yeah. Well, since I'm here, if I call Raymond and apologize for canceling our date, will he ask me to a movie? And the predicto magic says... You never know. Yeah. Guess I'll never know if he's mad at me unless I call, right? You can't change the past, but you can affect the future. Of course. I'll call Raymond and I'll ask him out. He wouldn't dare say no. Neither would the Predicto Magic. <laughs>